Mm-mm-mm. Winkers and down players, you can't test me. I am the fifth dimensional god of just fiction in general. You just don't understand about my conceptual manipulation and how I have space on manipulation. I said it. I, I said this in the last video. You got. You don't understand about this power. You just don't understand. Like you just can't fathom it. You just can't comprehend it. You're just a lower dimensional being than what I am. See, you down players and wankers, what I realized, especially you wankers that just wank every character or just wank your favorite characters because you just want to see them win every single time. See, if you just think that we are know you're biased, you probably think in the freaking power scaling institution where all you do is just debate every single day. That's where you feel like you're at because you just can't stand when your favorite character loses. You know when you're watching a death battle and when you see your favorite character lose and they are just not favored in terms of the popularity? Like, come on, bro. Especially you Dragon Ball fanboys. I, I, I'll beat the out the Dragon Ball out versal skill out of you, bro. Now, when I'm talking about the Dragon Ball fan base, that doesn't mean like I hate Dragon Ball. I re actually, it's quite the opposite. I really love Dragon Ball. It has really helped me, you know, throughout you know my fitness journey and like you know seeing Goku do calisthenics and you know weighted calisthenics, also Vegeta as well. But people need to understand, and, and it's just that fictional characters have a limit. Okay. Now, we know fictional characters can have a cultural impact, as we've seen with Dragon Ball, or impact on people's lives, depending on like how good the writing is. But it's just a thing to say that, you know, Dragon Ball solos every single anime or just anything, just everything of anything. <laughs> there is no, like, the most powerful fictional character, excuse me, because it just doesn't exist. Like, the most powerful will just basically just be equal. There's no way, like once you transcend the concept of dimensionality, there's not really nothing else you can really do. You know, I respect the Dragon Ball support, but at the same time, I don't take it too far to the point where you're annoying people and actually not making them like the series. And speaking of the topic of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is only a few days away and I want to talk about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's, you know, outselling, I guess you can say, you know, it's ba it basically outselled Black Ops 6. You know, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, you know, Call of Duty is usually one of the most top selling games, if not the top selling game, you know, every single year. Basically ever since the golden age, except when GTA 5 released. And, you know, yeah, that game is very popular. And we know GTA 6 is on the horizon in 2025 and it's gonna surpass essentially it's gonna surpass whatever studio is gonna handle the next car title after blob six so what i want to say is that at one point i don't know now but i'm gonna show you screenshots of at one point where sparking zero i think there's one website where um sparking zero all, like all editions of sparking zero the standard edition the deluxe edition the ultimate edition they all surpass black ops 6 like they're all they all surpassed it. i'm like oh my lord so if you combine all those editions all those pre-order sales of all those editions together it's definitely ahead of black ops 6 like you cannot tell me it's not ahead of black ops 6 it is ahead of black ops 6 i know there's gonna be a lot of activision gucci liquor you know, you know, they, you know they do what they do and it's unfortunate that they are what they are you know i already know there's gonna be some mofos saying under the comment section going to be talking about how anime is trash it's only for nerds like you monix take the l l l l l, -L, -L, -L. <laughs> Sorry, bud, your opinions cannot be validated. No one cares. Anyways, as we see from this tweet from Dr. Love, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is beating Black Ops 6 pre-orders on PlayStation. We've never been so back. In the picture of the bottom, as we see by the tweet, we have the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Standard Edition right beside Black Ops 6, and then on top you have the Deluxe Edition and the Ultimate Edition. And mind you, the Ultimate Edition is around $110, if I believe, in US dollars and USD. And the Deluxe Edition is around 100 So you're telling me even the Standard Edition is beating Black Ops 6, a literal freaking juggernaut, not just of FPS, but in gaming. So you're telling me that 
an anime game, let alone Dragon Ball, just beat Black Ops 6. Now, I am not gonna lie, us Dragon Ball fans, we, we're we just eating though. I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, we're just eating. You know, we have Dragon Ball Daima coming soon. We have, you know, Sparking Zero. Guys, that's all I have for you guys for today. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Ain't no telling, this won't be failing I hope I don't see you failing